Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions and I'd like to take a look at uh, Revit Architecture 2012 creating a standard UK cavity wall. Um, so we've got some cavity walls uh, in the actual system families as we call them, uh, which is built in the base template. So I'm using the GBR ENU template and I'm just going to bring one of those cavity walls in. I'm going to change the hatch pattern make it a bit more intense by changing the annotation scale at the bottom. So you can see in here this is block and this is brick but I want a return on the um, physical block work to the cavity and I want to make sure that return is visible when I actually insert a door or window. But well, we're going to edit the type and duplicate the system family so I'm going to say this is a 300mm brick block cavity wall. Okay so I've copied the actual um, system family out, so we're going to edit the structure of it. I'm going to remove the plasterboard, I could keep it in this instance, and I'm going to pop the thermal um, barrier down, so I'm going to actually say, well it's got 100mm insulation, and I'm going to pop the masonry or the block work down as well, outside this boundary. The reason I'm doing that is I want to make sure that the wraps is available on the brick and um, the actual block work. And again, I'm, just for this presentation, I'm going to keep it 100, 100, 100, and I'm going to keep it quite simple, so as you can see in here. So I'm going to hit OK on this, I'm going to hit OK. So this, this isn't just going to change the sentence in here, you can see uh, I'm not getting my end cap detail here um, physically the way I want it. Um, because I just want to show a couple of issues about this, the wall style. I'm going to bring in another wall, and I'm going to introduce a 100mm block wall. Okay, So I'm going to bring it across here on the block work and you can see the problem that I'm actually physically having with this wall and again this is the do with the priority it's actually taken now what we can do in here we can disallow allow the join and we can physically drag it back but we don't want to be doing that at every single intersection so a quick tip to do this is what you do is you edit the type of the wall and um, you edit the physical structure and we want to remove um, the category in here for the actual masonry brick. So I'm going to physically hit remove. Uh, you'll notice I'm trying to hit OK and I can't escape out of it. If we change the preview and actually hit OK, or say change it to a section and hit, hit OK, it should free that out. So we really see it happens here. If I hit OK, again and reattach that wall, well I've done a disallowed join there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create similar so this time when I bring the wall in it's attached exactly as I want under the brick I don't want to attach it through the other side so what I've simply done is under the edit type geometry and the structure um, that physical function in there um, I have removed from the masonry brick okay let's have a look at um, our end cap detail now if we want to bring a, um, an external door in. So I'm going to go to door and I'm going to load a family. I'm going to look at my UK library and insert an external door. So I'm going to pick a single door in this instance. Um, let me just scroll through. Let's pick that door and let's hook head home. So when I bring the door in, okay, click the position. Um, this isn't what I want. I don't want to see this cavity closure detail in here. Um, I can see there it's returning some of the block work. So I need to change this functionality. But one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the family of the door. Okay, because I, I don't want to see that cavity closure. So I'm going to go into my reference level and I'm simply going to remove this cavity closure, which is a bit of 2D annotation on a void area in here. So I'm just going to tab around, delete that out. You can see there's a bit of a mask. Again, I'm going to delete that out. I'm going to delete this out as well. And simply tab around that detail. Again, remove it. Like so. Okay, I'm just going to load that back into the project. Um, again, I should really save it out as a different file, but just for a presentation. I'm going to say override the existing version. So we see it happens override the existing version and the cavity closure will disappear. But I have an issue with my end cap. So let's have a closer look at the edit type function of this door. So if I select the door, I want this block work to return up here. I'm going to go into edit type and um, we can change the settings. 
So in here I can say, okay, let's let's see how the layers wrap from external to internal. Make sure the wall closure is by host, and we can hit apply. And this is exactly how I want it in here. I want my block work returned, and I want my brick work available like so. Um, so you can see this. This is exactly how I want this door. Um, let's physically copy this door. Let's just copy it across. Oh, select it again. And go to copy. And we'll pop that in here. Watch what happens when I uh, change the door position. You can see now we have a return on the brickwork, and we don't want that. Um, so the issue here is you have to physically create a duplicate of the door. Um, depending on what side the door is, whether it's the external or internal. Now that might have an issue in the schedules, but if we schedule it out um, by the physical um, name of it by the, rather than the type, um, it makes it quite easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this door. I'm going to go to the end of time. We're going to duplicate it. And um, simply at the end, you can see the family name. I'm going to schedule it by the family name. You'll see this later. I'm just going to say this is prefixed bow for outside. So created a physical copy of it. Simply in here, when I'm wrapping my layers, I'm going to make this 200mm on either end as shown. So I hit plan OK. What I'm actually getting, I'm getting my um, block work the way I want it. So it does mean that you physically have to create two separate door um, styles in here. So you might think that might have an impact in scheduling. Well, if you're scheduling it, if you go to view and create a schedule of this, um, let's pry this down to our doors. Cancel that. Um, let's take doors again. What I would do is you could physically schedule on the family rather than family and type. So if we go into finish, we look at our fire rating, etc. In here, we'll bring in all our, all our normal uh, details. I'm going to bring a market model. Um, let's move our mark up. So if I hit OK, you can see it scheduled against the same family. So I'm not using the actual physical type in there. So there's certain limitations to it, but against the desired um, functionality that I physically want. So one last area in here, um, I don't have the wall end detail the way I want it here. I need a return on the block work physically at this location. So if I edit the type of the wall, um, what I can actually do, I have wrapping inserts, whether it's both, which I do want, or wrapping at ends. So I can say for my wrapping at ends, I want my um, interior to wrap. So if I hit apply, you see my interior is wrapped, I hit OK. So what I got now I got is I got my standard UK wall detail. Um, the settings such as the um, physical detail in here for the door positions can be changed under the edit type properties. So you can see this in here, we've got uh, a wealth of different bits of data in here for positions, uh, ironmongery, uh, etc. that we can physically change, um, such as our positions within the wall. So you can see in here what I have is a frame offset external, so I could probably change that to around, um, I'm going to say 100mm. So I change this value here and hit apply. And OK. You can see I'm getting a position for my frame the way I want it. But don't forget that would have to be applied to the um, duplicated family across there. So there's a way um, out of the box uh, as installed to get your standard uh, UK walls the way you want them. Uh, you might be a user that's used to AutoCAD architecture. Um, so this is a nice way to get started. Thanks for listening.